Hey, want a peach? Sure. Is it organic? No, but what difference does it make? Non-organic produce is often treated with chemicals, like pesticides and herbicides. For example, this peach was probably treated with a type of insecticide called an organophosphate. So what? Why should I care about these organophosphates? There are many reasons. When organophosphates are applied to crops, like this peach, they often end up in other places as well, where they can cause harm. What do you mean? Organophosphates can make their way to streams and rivers, where they can affect wildlife. They can be carried from a field by surface runoff, or can seep into the groundwater, or can even be carried by the wind, which picks up particles of the chemical and deposits them where they are not wanted. So, when organophosphates are applied to crops, they travel, in these ways, to the natural environment. But why is this bad? I'm getting there. Organophosphates serve their purpose of killing insects by messing with their nerve impulses. However, they don't only affect insects. One study showed that coho salmon placed in water contaminated by an organophosphate show physical impairment and, even at low concentrations of the chemical, don't eat as much. This suggests that organophosphates in streams and rivers may affect the behavior and survival of salmon. So let me get this straight. You are saying that organophosphates that are used on farms could be having an impact on salmon? That is right. Do you think it is right that salmon, a vast cultural icon and important food source throughout history here in Washington, are being put in danger by modern farming practices? These fish are a cultural foundation whose health we cannot just disregard. In addition, salmon are widely eaten, potentially passing harmful chemicals onto the humans who eat them. But I'm not the one on the farms using the organophosphates. What does this have to do with the fruit I buy? By buying non-organic produce, you support farms that use chemicals like organophosphates. If you bought organic instead, it would contribute to a demand for healthier farming practices. And, speaking of being on the farms and using organophosphates, the farm workers applying the chemicals are perhaps the most severely affected by such pesticides. These workers spray insecticides on crops, becoming exposed by skin contact with the chemicals and contaminated plants and by inhaling chemicals in the air. This can poison workers, and more health issues, such as chronic fatigue, are posed by the long-term exposure. Wow, this all sounds pretty bad. But do organophosphates actually affect me? Yes. Organophosphates are used on many fruits and vegetables. When you eat this contaminated produce, you are exposed to the organophosphates on them. This probably means that my children are also exposed to organophosphates. They eat the same produce as me. Yes. In fact, children are particularly vulnerable to the effects of organophosphates, since their brains and central nervous systems are growing and developing. Long-term exposure to organophosphates has been linked to developmental issues. One organophosphate, called clopyrifos, is associated with reduced physical coordination, delayed learning, and trouble focusing in children. That is terrible. Organophosphate exposure has also been linked with the development of ADHD. In one study, children with above average exposure to organophosphates have twice the risk of developing ADHD than children with undetectable exposure. So organophosphates mess with children's brains? Basically, children are exposed to organophosphates every day when they eat contaminated fruits and vegetables. How can I avoid buying contaminated food? Like I said before, buy organic produce. Organic produce is not treated with synthetic chemicals like organophosphates. Children on organic diets have been shown to be less exposed to organophosphates than when they ate their normal diets. But, man. Organic produce is so expensive. I know. Some of the most contaminated items are peaches, pears, apples, and grapes. So you may want to get those organic first if you can't afford very much. It also helps to scrub fruits and vegetables well to get some chemical residue off the surface. Wait, so if I wash my produce off, that means it is completely safe to eat? No. Washing produce only gets some chemicals off the surface. Some chemicals are sprayed right into the soil, 
so they are incorporated into growing crops directly through the roots. Man, it seems like I can't get away from these pesticides. Maybe I should just stop eating fruits and vegetables. That is not the answer. The health benefits of eating plenty of fruits and vegetables still far outweigh the risks posed by pesticides. Well, that is a relief. Thanks for bringing me in on all this information. I had no idea there is so much behind just buying some produce.